The man in the pizza store on Wednesday night was waiting for his order when he started to discuss the NBA and Kevin Durant. Like many fans, he had an opinion on Durant, and it was not favorable. He told the guy behind the counter as the pizza store employee was loading a slice into a bag that he didn't like what Durant did. Join the loaded team. But Durant didn't do anything wrong. In fact, Durant was far more honorable than his old employer, Clayton Bennett, in Oklahoma City. He lived up to every provision in his Oklahoma City contract and left when an opportunity came up. Clayton Bennett broke his contract with Seattle and was able to negotiate out of a deal with two seasons remaining on the contract in 2008 to move his team. Durant played for Clayton Bennett's Seattle Supersonics in 2007-8. Bennett wanted a new Seattle arena and was told no. Seattle was on the outside looking in. Bennett is, of course, a villain in Seattle, and some former Supersonic fans took great delight in Durant leaving Bennett's franchise and going to Oakland. Durant played by the rules. Bennett played by some sports owners' rules, which included the threat of moving his property if he didn't get his way. Seattle has been without the National Basketball Association franchise for eight years, and while the city is probably the best economic area that does not have an NBA team, there's no want by the NBA or the National Hockey League to set up shop as long as there's no real plan to build an arena. Durant had to make a business decision, as did Bennett. The difference? Durant lived up to his obligation. Bennett, the owner, didn't. Durant is viewed as a bad guy by some fans. Bennett is just an owner that fans don't think about, except for some in Seattle. Business is business. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.